Hey y'all, what's up? So it's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with another prophetic word. And today's prophetic word is titled Heart Shell Wax Code. Let me say that again, Heart Shell Wax Code. So I'm gonna be coming um, from Matthew 24 and 12. And then, yes, that's the only scripture that I'll be reading today. So I'll be reading King James Version. And it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, if you guys have seen the prophetic word that I released two days ago, where it was talking about all about love, this is what I had mentioned or the scripture that I had mentioned in the video when the Holy Spirit began speaking to me last week about the times that we are entering, okay? Now, we must always provide context. Now, when we're looking at the scripture and it says, and because iniquity shall abound. So what is iniquity? Iniquity is a gross injustice, wickedness, immoral or grossly unfair behavior, right? So this scripture is referencing what came directly before it. So Matthew 24, 4 through 11, which deals with the beginning of sorrows, which is um, the beginning of the end. So pretty much I will be going more into detail about the time of sorrows. However, I just want to give you a quick summary about specifically what that was saying, okay? Um, when it was referencing this iniquity, this iniquity shall be separation and division, great deception amongst leaders and amongst the people, so the people in the body. Um, many false prophets arising, false prophets, people that um, are not really sent by the Lord, they are sending people a different direction, they're not um, based, they're not really coming in the name of Jesus and things like that but i'll go more into detail about that soon all right and then there shall be a lot of betrayal and offense after offense okay so this scripture when it says and because iniquity shall abound is speaking of a highly perilous time where this level of iniquity will be very great because abound means large immense great overflowing so there's going to be so much iniquity so much separation so much deception so much of, of many false prophets coming or many false teachers so much betrayal so much offending etc etc that is what's going to happen so due to this iniquity abounding or due to this large degree of uh, immorality that will occur hearts shall wax cold so when we think of wax wax is what is on the candle right but when wax turns cold what happens are you able to just like still um pour it from side to side no it creates a solid form it becomes hard so cold wax is hardening hardened so what is being said here is that that people's hearts are going to wax cold which means people's hearts are going to turn hard and this is going to happen in the world so love in its normal form won't exist anymore okay it will be a cold form of love so it's not going to be the love that was taught to us about in first corinthians 13 by paul what love is so since he told us what love is i'm going to tell you guys what love isn't and what's going to be happening during these times that are coming up very 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 soon so impatience rudeness jealousy hopelessness boastfulness being proud unfaithful all of these things are not love and if love has turned cold that means love is originally warm that means love uh promotes um togetherness love promotes patience love promotes kindness love promotes selflessness okay i mean yes yeah, selflessness being selfless i have to get it right but the time that's coming with all of these things all these signs of the time that's gonna happen we're gonna have so many more people turning their hearts cold like people's hearts are going to be like ice and that's why that word was so important because us as believers we are to be the salt of the earth we are to be in the world but not of the world meaning that how we display love 
it must be based on a biblical truth sound doctrine aka first corinthians 13 but also too we have to ensure that we are being that model because we are also going to be experiencing these same things but the way that we respond and the way that we react will show people whether we are truly of righteous character or whether we are truly god's children okay so i love you guys and i will talk to you in the next prophetic word